Hello everyone, it's Wesley here, and today I want to show you guys an interesting Rainmaker strategy. I call it the Teleporting Rainmaker, but feel free to call it whatever you want. Some of these ideas were found off the Splatoon Gameplay in Japan channel, so be sure to check them out. Let's get right into this. As I'm sure most of you know, the Rainmaker can only respawn on certain parts of the map. If you only touch places where the Rainmaker can't respawn, then it will be forced to go back to a previous location where it can. As you can see here, I'm only touching certain parts of the map where it can't respawn. This will result in the Rainmaker responding up here, aka the last place that it could respawn. In this case, it was on top of the lamp. The question about the strategy though is if it could ever be useful or not. It's really hard to pull off in a real match, but it would sure confuse the enemy. Today I'm going to show you some interesting places where you can pull this off. This first one's on Air 1 and Mall and it's pretty difficult to do. We'll be traveling a far distance and making the Rainmaker respawn here. To do this you have to carefully navigate along enough the walls without touching the ground. The only way that the Rainmaker can respawn here is if you don't register any new places for it to respawn. Since the Rainmaker can't respawn on a wall, it makes sense why you can use them. Once you finish going along the walls, you can go into this little side area right here where the Rainmaker also can't respawn. You can go all the way down this until you reach the very end. From there you can just jump off and find the Rainmaker all the way back to where you started. If an enemy kills you while you are in this position, they would be extremely confused. <laughs> This next one is also on Air Wanama and it's a lot easier to do. From this area, you just have to jump down and swim along the walls until you reach the other side. Once there, you can just wait to die or jump off. Just like last time, the Rainmaker should respawn to the place that you first jumped off. We only touched the wall, so it was forced to respawn to the last time I was on solid ground. This isn't as far as the other one, but it's still pretty confusing if the enemy was to kill you there. This one is on Port Mako and it lets you take the Rainmaker extremely far away from its original position. All you have to do is ink the walls in the beginning and then take the Rainmaker to this upper area. From here you can just jump down onto the ink on the walls and then swim all the way across it. This one can actually be a bit tricky but it's not as hard as the one on Arowana Mall. Once you get to the end you'll see that you can get a very far distance without touching the ground. And then once you die you'll see that the Rainmaker respawns halfway across the map and then all the way back to that upper area where you first jumped off. That's a crazy distance. This last one is on Walleye Warehouse. From this area right here, you can go onto this ledge and continue from there. A Rainmaker can't respawn on these ledges, which is what makes this possible. Moving around these ledges is also pretty easy, so you should be able to do this pretty fast. Once you get to the end, you can just jump off and you'll see the Rainmaker go all the way back to where you started. This is definitely one of the easier ones, but it's also pretty fun to do. Before I end this, I just want to say a huge thanks to everyone that helped. This video could not be possible without them. Be sure to check them out in the description and their names should also be displayed on the screen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want more videos like these. See ya!